Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a weekend in my life and bring you guys with me the next few days. It should be a fun-filled, eventful weekend. So yeah, I just left spin. It was such a good class. I'm so happy that I woke up in time and I was able to go. I just, I love, you guys know, I love my morning workouts. And I feel like there's no better way to start the weekend than getting a good workout in, especially before the work day. So it's saw my last vlog. This is the same day, like Friday, because I ended that vlog and started this one on the same day. So it's like, ugh, I'm really thinking about calling out because it's literally gonna be 90 degrees and just gonna, you know, take the day. But I one have so much work to do, and two, I I know that there's gonna be nicer days to come. So we're gonna push through. We're gonna work, and I think tonight we'll probably do something. Whether we'll go and grab a drink or go and grab dinner somewhere where we can sit outside. Um, but yeah, I'm just like so excited to have the summer days, like summer warm, hot days. Ugh, like it was just, I don't know, like so, I hate it, but I also love it, like going to bed, it's so uncomfortable. I mean, it's obviously like, the worst feeling, but I don't know, it just makes me think of summer, which I'm like so excited for. You guys know I am a fall girl at heart, but I do love summer. Like, I don't know. We made steak tips last night, so it's just very like, I don't know. You guys know that feeling of like summer days and like going to the beach and having a cookout. Like there's seriously nothing better. So yeah, this weekend, and then I think next week's, or even this weekend tomorrow is supposed to like rain and be in the 50s and 60s, which I will still take, okay? If you were from a cooler climate, then you know the 50s and 60s are still pretty warm. So we'll take what we can get as long as it's not snowing in 20 degrees or below 20 degrees. So, all right, let's go shower and get ready for the day because I feel absolutely disgusting. It was such a good class with Machine Gun Kelly, which is my favorite. And so it's like just moving and grooving. And now we start the work day, but it's fine. Like I said, we'll work outside as much as we can and enjoy the sunshine. And I'll take you guys with me in the next few days. Hey, you guys. So it is now a Saturday. Last night was let me tell you so working we got a call for Brad he's working he's doing yard work and he's like can you come out here like I think something's wrong and I was like immediately my heart stopped we run downstairs and Riggins was acting kind of weird he's ready to start out and he just seemed like really tired and I thought it was just from like the heat because it's been hot the past few days and just like over tired but then he tried jumping up on the bed and he started yelping Brad ended up taking him to the walking clinic. I had already started dinner and just honestly it's better if I don't go for my anxiety and Riggins and Brad because I guess the receptionist at this place was a nightmare which is like making these weird comments to Brad that you just like don't say like just weird and so was telling us that like Riggins was going to have to go into surgery and like not discrediting her but like let us talk and see the vet before like or tell Brad he needs surgery and it's gonna cost thousands. Like, why would you do that? But I don't know. It was so weird. So I'm like, if I was there, I would have freaked out. So I said to Brad, I was like, anyone can call me what they want, but I will always protect Riggins, <laughs> my fur baby. So he ended up tweaking. Long story short, he ended up uh, tweaking his hip. So, like, best case scenario, because I was like, oh my god, he's, he is gonna have to go and get surgery and. when dogs have to go or just pets have to go into like emergency surgeries like the lady was telling Brad um it can be really expensive and not that I would I wouldn't even bad night like take all my money and just fix it but you know you just don't want to see your baby your pet have to go through that so 
7.45. I'm on my way to go meet my sister. I canceled all my plans for today because I was like, we're going to stay with Riggs. We're going to stay on the couch. I want him to move a muscle. And then this morning, he's like grabbing his ball. He's running down the stairs. I'm like, you little shit. But obviously, I'm happy he's doing better and feeling better. It's the most important. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go get my nails done with my sister. And then I was supposed to be my friend for dinner tonight. But she, um, so I told her, like, what happened. And I was like, I'm just going to stay home. Like, we'll take a rain check. I don't want to leave him because Brad has to work tonight. He's coach. And then my father-in-law was like, I'll stay with him. Like, make sure he doesn't jump up. I don't want going anywhere. So, I text my friend. And I was like, never mind. And she ended up, something happened to her car. So, we're just going to take a rain check. Um, that way I can't get home. Riggins and my father-in-law are like best friends. So I know he doesn't mind, but it's also like, I don't know. I, I just don't want to like make him feel like it's his responsibility, you know? So, which I know he doesn't care, but I don't know. I won't be home with him. So I think my sister's going to come up later. We'll grab lunch and then, yeah, I don't really know what the plans are for today. We might go out. It's pretty nice out. It's 60. I think it's supposed to get to like 66 today. So, and I'm so excited to get my nails done. I think I told you guys that I wanted to take a break from my nails, but oh, Brad's calling me. Let me try. Incoming to call. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get them back on, so I'll show you guys what they look like after. It is now Wednesday morning. It's 8.30. I am working and I know this vlog has jumped around a little bit. So long story short, I think the last clip that I had was um, me on my way to meet my sister to get our nails done and get sushi. <sighs> long story short, I'm having camera issues, but I think it's all set now. My friend was able to fix it. So it looks like it's working. So we'll see. Um, if I'm not able to fix it, I'm just going to get a new camera. I've been having problems with this camera for a while, but I'm like obviously trying to avoid having to buy a new camera because they're expensive. So I could vlog on my phone. It's just like such a pain. And I, I don't know. I think the quality is better on the camera. Um, but this one just, it dies all the time. And for whatever reason, like the lens was stuck and the screen was black, but I think we're good to go now. So fingers crossed. So um, yeah, it's Wednesday morning. I never showed you guys my nail, so I went with a nude pink natural short nails. You guys know are my favorite. Um, so, so happy that I got them done. I think that they look so good. I really like um, the lady that did them. I'm going to keep going to her. She just, I don't know, she's just quick and efficient. And at the old place that I used to go to, um, which I'll probably still go there because my sister lives like 45 minutes away It's not really convenient if I need to get my nails done. However, my parents live close by so it's like I can get my nails done and go see them um, They always have like a common say about the color like every time because I like just the pale pinks and like nudes and neutrals And they'll always tell me that the colors aren't going to show and it's just such a like it's just annoying like, It's like I know I like that but um, she just I don't know she was just good so really went happy with how they turned out but the past few days have been super productive which is getting things done for the store and um going to spin i'm taking today off because i was gonna go to the 5 a.m i got up at 4 30 and oh my gosh there's like a squirrel hanging from the bird feeder <laughs> it looks funny but um i got up and everything and i was like my legs literally feel like they're gonna give out so i'm listening to my body and taking today off so and i think i like tweaked my back wrong yesterday i knew it too while we were doing the work that i was like oh like definitely just did something to my back so all in all it's just a good day to take off and rest so yeah i'm gonna work the day away i have an exciting announcement that i'm going to share at the end of this vlog so i'll probably continue this up until friday um and i need to edit today's video so i'm like really hoping that this camera will continue to work it's so annoying too because it was like such a productive past few days on sunday i just did my sunday reset 
Monday worked and went to my workout. Tuesday, which was yesterday, um, I went to my workout, grabbed sushi after. So like there was things to actually show you guys, but I just like, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking to do it on my phone until now. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys later on. Okay, you guys, so it is now a little bit later. It's actually a lot later, it's three o'clock, but I just got a package. I am loving this boutique. Not more than Confetti Babe, but they do sell like different, it's like a different style. Confetti Babe, it's more like, you'll see from these pieces, like everyday wear, um, or these are kind of like statement pieces, like not something you'd wear every day, but I saw these and I was like, yeah, I got them. Add to cart immediately, <laughs> so. I wanna show you guys what I got. And I will link below. Their stuff sells out really fast, but if it's still available, I'll link it. So the first thing that I got, I think that I'm gonna love this. Is this super cute? I've been wanting one, but some um, boutiques that sell like denim jumpsuits can be really expensive. And this was only $40, so I got it. I think it's gonna be so cute in the summer. And I love that you can adjust the um, zipper to show like little or more cleavage. I just think that this is so stinking cute for like a date night or brunch. I'm obsessed. So I got that. I gotta try it on. What size did I get? It feels like it's gonna be pretty stretchy. My hips are the issue. <laughs> um, what size? Okay, it's small, so we'll see how that fits. And then I'm so excited. So I wanted this when it first launched, but it sold out. And then they restocked it and I was like, yes. I don't have anywhere to wear this. I work from home. So like I literally just wear pajamas. I was wearing a top earlier, but I had to take um, like some photos on the mannequin of that top because it's the deal of the week for confetti, which it'll already be gone. So if it's still in stock, I'll link it below. But we do a new deal of the week. Um, over on Confetti Babe. So I will link this week's deal. It's um, the City Lights bodysuit, which we only have one left of. If I had it handy, I would grab it, but um, just check it out. I will link it below. Um, but this is the laser. I'm obsessed. I don't know why I thought this was so stinking cute. I feel like in the summer with some jean shorts, it would look so stinking cute. And it has shoulder pads. So I don't know, I thought it was fun and different. So I like really need to go through my clothes. Like, I'm running out of hangers and I always buy hangers, so which means I just like need to get rid of stuff. So, I'm gonna do that eventually. I have a meeting here in 15 minutes, so I think I'm gonna go and grab a snack because I'm getting kind of hungry and we'll get through the meeting. And then I'll only have a half hour left to work today. It's gone by so fast, but I'll be honest, I am like so tired. I think it's just from the <laughs> excessive working out it's been i've gone thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday and i'm taking today off i could like i, I was thinking about it because it's my favorite style of like workouts that we do for the strength portion but i need to listen to my body there'll there'll be other workouts so yeah I'm just gonna be a chill night i'm making brad's he's actually going on a bachelorette bachelorette a bachelor trip this weekend um so i'm gonna be home all by myself no my sister's gonna spend the weekend with me so we're gonna have a girls weekend so i'll probably vlog up until tomorrow i know that this is like really sporadic we already talked about it um but i want to start a weekend vlog because like i said her and i are gonna have a fun girl strip it'll probably be like a time montage because i talked about this before my sister just like doesn't want to be on youtube which is 100 percent understandable so i still want to vlog it because i think we're gonna i don't know it's the weather's keeps changing i really want to go to the beach but we'll play it by ear and i will bring you guys with me but i'm gonna go grab a snack finish up the work day and check in with you guys later hey you guys happy thursday so it is 4 30 it has been such a productive busy day i feel like i'm starting to get into a really good routine of planning out my days and what days are going to be dedicated to certain tasks i feel like before i was trying to do way too much at once and i would never be able to get through my to-do list so yeah just overall a really productive thursday it's 4 30 so i have like an hour and a half before my workout um you guys know i love doing the morning workout classes but on thursdays 
Um, I actually could have gone up this morning. I woke up at 4.45 because I was so thirsty. Um, and I was like, oh, I should just go. But then I fell back asleep. And I like doing the Thursday night classes because I really like the music um, and the instructor. I like all the instructors, but I really like the music that the Thursday night instructor plays. Um, so anyways, can I give you an overview? So I worked my full-time job, just finished up um and been doing so thursdays are inventory days so i like to go through and make sure that everything that we have in stock matches up with what's in the system because of course technology issues and everything um luckily knock on wood we never run into an issue where something is sold out that's why i try to stay on top of this um because you never want someone to order something and then you don't actually have the item or the opposite someone is looking for it and you do have it and it's not on the site so been doing this and also planning out well i haven't even told you guys yet been working on something so i am finally announced we are doing our first i'm gonna say first pop-up um okay if you've been around then you know what happened at my first official pop-up where i had a full-blown anxiety attack um and had to leave and felt like complete crap about myself because i just felt like such a failure and my family and friends and of course brad were like it's not the end of the world next time I, what happened was it was just a mess <laughs> like I had brought everything with me and I didn't have the space I didn't have the like supplies to have everything so this time I'm going to be way more prepared and instead of focusing on getting sales I just want to network meet people and just challenge myself because I you guys know I don't really leave the house I don't know it's just it's scary so getting out of your comfort zone but i am excited so i've been working on that we're going to have exclusive pieces i will have the information below it's going to be at if you're local aria aesthetics in salem new hampshire um and i'm just i'm really excited um it's actually where i got my botox so <laughs> very excited um but i think it's gonna be great we're gonna have exclusive pieces raffles um i have to still find out like some more information on like exactly how much room i'm gonna have and i want to make like confetti cake pops um and do all the things so i gotta reach out to the girl but anyways very exciting so going through inventory seeing exactly what i want to bring um and like i said we're gonna have exclusive items that haven't launched yet so it's gonna be really fun i'm really excited to meet you guys in person meet our customers um but also like a little nervous but it's gonna be great so that's may 4th i don't know if i said that so we have some time, but it's gonna come up quick. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, so that's what I've been doing is going through inventory. Um, and this is done for the day. Yes, done for the day. We love that. So tomorrow on Fridays, what I do is social media for the following week. So I mapped that out. I want to try and get better. I actually wrote down to try and get better at, I gotta like go through all these sticky notes. Let me know if you're like this. Um, just have a bunch and I don't know like what's actually important and what's not, but I always try to clean my desk so that way tomorrow when I come in, it's nice and clean. So, okay. And I didn't get through my inventory, but I told myself I was gonna stop at 4.30 because I want to get some work done for our Pinterest. I need to do like a few accounting things. Um, that I just like need to get done. So I don't forget to do it. Um, so I'll do that. A few things for Pinterest, which I will link our Pinterest below. And then I am going to read. I already prepped dinner. We're good to go. I'm excited. It's like my favorite meal that I make in the crock pot. And you know what else I did? Because I want to start going to the grocery store on Sundays because I don't know, we just go during the week and it just we just like never have foods and i know sunday's just a good day to go i just can't stand how busy it is but i'm gonna get over my fear okay this it's all about conquering our fears so i wrote down a grocery list and like our meals for next week on thursday how productive so i'm feeling good about that um which like might sound crazy but i like need to do that if i don't i'll go into the grocery store and i'll be like so overwhelmed and lost which like i'm already overwhelmed to begin with Okay, so let's get this work done. Oh, and then the reason why I wanted to stop at 4.30 because I have to get this these, like last minute things done. And then I want to um, start my new book. So the book that I was reading was funny, you should ask. I think I've told you guys probably like a million times. Um, 
and I hated it. I could not, I did not love it. I wouldn't say hate, I just like could not. It took me a while to get through, so I gave it two out of five stars on Goodreads. Goodreads below. So now I'm starting Credence by Penelope Douglas, and I've heard that it's really good and twisted, and I feel like I my favorite genre books are thrillers, and I feel like I'm in such a reading rut, and I've heard really good things about this book, so I'm hoping that it will keep my interest and get me back into reading because my goal was to read two books a month, and I just finished that book, and I started on February 1st. It's now April 20th. Like, that took me way too long, and it was only 340 pages. Like, it was a pretty short book, so... Yeah, anyways, gonna get this done and I will see you probably when I'm on my way to my workout. Hey you guys, so it's now a little bit later. I am on my way to spin class. I made a pre-workout. I usually have an energy drink, like half of an energy drink before spin, but I decided to switch things up and I really like this flavor. It's the Alani New Rainbow Candy. I'll link it below, but the flavor is really good. I do just a little bit just to kind of give me that like energy to get through the workout. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to spin, head home. Dinner's already ready. Brad just ate. He said it was really good. So I'll go home, shower, eat dinner, and we'll call it a night. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the information below for the pop-up on May 4th. And I will see you next Wednesday in a new video. Bye, babes.